okay team more on 2.2 extra practice um exercises five and six here we're looking for a counter example to show that this given conjecture is actually false so example five if n is a rational number then n square is always less than n so here's a counter example right here let's let n equal three well if n is three then we know that n square or three square is going to give you nine well then we can see here that n square is actually greater than and which is opposite of this conjecture right here. So there's a counterexample. Number six uh, involves our basic geometric terms. So we have a line and a plane. And the uh, conjecture here is that in this circumstance, uh, plane P is perpendicular to line K. But that's kind of a silly conclusion because it's quite easy for me to consider or uh, think up a situation where this line K intersects the plane at some angle that is not 90 degrees, like this would appear to be something a lot different than 90. Anyway, very false, hard to draw a picture. Do your best for number six, but that is kind of hard. Um, okay, team, moving on quickly here to a, another big deal. So. Uh, we've already talked about inductive reasoning. In exercises seven and eight, we're going to use what's called deductive reasoning. Deductive reasoning. Uh, inductive reasoning is observing a pattern and making a conjecture. Deductive reasoning is using facts and definitions to rigorously prove something using facts and definitions uh, i'm also going to use the word logic here so just so you know inductive reasoning isn't a hundred percent true you can observe a pattern and make a conjecture but it it could be the case that your conjecture turns out to be false there could exist a counter example deductive reasoning is different if you're using facts and logic, then you can come to a trustworthy conclusion. So deductive reasoning is uh, more foolproof than inductive reasoning is. So that is what we're doing. By the way, this law of detachment language, really all we're saying here is, you know what, don't even worry about that. We just used deductive reasoning as the only word we actually care about. So pause the video if you need a second to think about number seven and try it on your own. Feel free to pause if you need to. I'm going to just go ahead and move forward here uh, and show you what the answer should be. But uh, if a triangle has equal side lengths, then each interior angle measure is 60 degrees. Okay, so this is something that is true. So this is a fact that we know to be true already. And then uh, there is a conclusion that, um, oh, and then we have the statement triangle ABC has equal side lengths. Triangle ABC has equal side lengths. Well, then it follows that using deductive reasoning, if triangle ABC has equal side lengths, then I know that triangle ABC has interior angle measures of 60. And that is using deductive reasoning. I know that something is true, and I'm going to use that logic and information to make a conclusion about something that involves that information. Okay, good work team. Do your best here on number eight. I'll have one more video that shows you that answer and then helps you get started on this one. Okay, good job guys.